This is a Max KDI. I'll show you guys the update the BIOS on the Dell PowerEdge 1900 server. And first, you're gonna do you're gonna go to Dell website uh, and download from Dell PowerEdge 1900 the BIOS. And when you download it, you go to Downloads. And the, the latest one they have is a 2.70. You click on the 2.70, the one I downloaded. Click Run. And okay, we're gonna install and click Install. And you just have to wait a few seconds. It says you're gonna get a message. That says, Would you like to continue with the update? Click yes. And you're gonna reboot the reboot your system now. Click yes. And you have to wait a few seconds. The server's gonna restart. So you have to wait. Windows gonna restart to update the BIOS. And I have Windows 7 64-bit, uh, Windows 7 Professional 64-bit installed on a SATA hard drive. Dell, Dell PowerEdge 1900 to do the BIOS update and it's a, the latest one they have is a 2.70 download from the Dell website, dell.com so you have to wait a few seconds, We're gonna, it's going to restart uh, Windows will restart so you get a message that says attempting to buy BIOS update please wait so you just have to wait right here, you get a message right in the left top corner, left corner right here, you have to wait and I have a BIOS, uh, what is it, 2.61 and upgrade to 2.70, so you have to wait till the flat updating the BIOS. You have to wait a few seconds. And the BIOS is updated, it's going to get a Dell logo. So yeah, the BIOS is updated 2.70. Get a message, okay. And I have 32 gigs memory installed in here. Dell PowerEdge 1900. And if you guys want to watch the video, I did a video on the memory upgrade. I did. A, you can just watch that. Search my channel. I did it on this Dell PowerEdge 1900. I did a show you how to upgrade the memory to from uh, 4 gigs upgrade to 32 for uh, that's 8 uh, 8 8 that's actually 8 sticks that's 4 gig per each slot each uh, each stick actually so it's got 8 memory slots you can upgrade to 32 gigs on it ECC fully buffered memory so you get a message and you're going to go to the windows just have to wait Now we're going back to Windows and now uh, to verify. Yeah, the BIOS is updated. Okay, my computer, let me go. So you got, I have installed uh, Xeon Xeon uh, X5355. So if you guys want to upgrade the CPU, you could do that. Because I had a 2 gigahertz, can't remember what the model was. But uh, I, I did upgrade the processor on it. It's uh, Intel Xeon X5355, 2.6 gigahertz. And I upgrade the memory to 32 on it. 32 gigs. And let me go to uh, all system. And... So it works perfectly fine, no problems at all. This server's been running for like f over four years, actually five years without any problems. And okay, so the BIOS version is a 2.70. And uh, so yeah, it works fine now. I don't have any problems with it. So you guys, this is a quick video. Thanks for watching, bye.